It's a mouse pointer, a presentation tool, and it's AI powered. Let's check this thing out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm checking out a production prototype of this. This, let me pull this off, is the Cheer Dots 2 chat GPT powered pointer and presentation tool. And at its most basic, it is a mouse you can use and you might be able to see on the screen here that I can move things around and I can make different choices by clicking all of those basic functions. So it is a Bluetooth pointing device and I have it hooked up to my Macintosh. I had to download the Cheer Dots 2 app, which is what you're seeing on the screen. But where this really gets fun is when we take it off of that and now it's a little handheld pointer and presentation tool. But to get it to work properly, I need to flip a little switch on the bottom. And as you can see in this close up, there's a lot of switches on the bottom. On the left, you can choose from two different Bluetooth modes so you can pair it with different devices. And then the middle part is actually the laser system for it to track when you're moving it on a surface in desktop mode. And then on the right, we go from ground to air, and I'm gonna flip that up to air. And then the rightmost actually lets you adjust its resolution but I'm not gonna worry about that. So now I am in presentation mode, and so one of the things I can do is, I hope you can see that, there's a laser pointer here, somewhere here. Oh, I think maybe this way, there we go. So there's a laser pointer, and probably not great for my lens to do that, but it is tricky. This is, you know, you're gonna have to learn how to use this because they have so many features. So on the right-hand side, if you push and hold, you get that laser pointer, but if you double push, watch the screen, then I get this sort of spotlight, and if I double push again, then it goes to this red little highlight mode, which is pretty cool, and then if I double push again, then I'm just back into a regular mode. Now, if I go down to the air mode, and so here, and you can see in this screenshot that it gives you mouse status. You have the three different modes. I just showed you those. You can also specify where you want things like the spotlight and such. But while we're at it, let's look at a screen capture of desktop mode. And so that gives you the ability to do different gestures. And you can see you can customize it quite a bit, including adjusting its DPI or sensitivity. And then where this gets really fun is voice settings. So right now I have it recognizing English. Yes, it actually has a voice interface system. It's gonna recognize English. And if I push on the voice thing, it's gonna get me into chat GPT. So what does that look like? Well, let me just demonstrate that. So on the left side, there's another button. So if I push the button, then it gets me into that chat GPT, but it's not listening. So if I push and hold, then tell me more about the fall of the Roman Empire. And then I let go, and so you can see it says more about the fall of the Roman Empire. That is amazing that this is the world's easiest way to interact with ChatGPT, and that gives you all sorts of really interesting possibilities. While you're making a presentation, you might suddenly say, oh, hang on, let me just go ahead and look this up super quick. But if I go back and notice I can also just use my regular mouse, if I go speech to text, and then let's switch out and switch back. I've found that tends to work a little better. And now this time when I push and hold, you can just see that down here it says speaking and it's capturing the words that I'm saying. So you can imagine I could be making a presentation and recording myself and when I let go, then it not only will have that transcript, but it should be, let's look in recordings there. So it has recorded what I've done so I can go back and review it later. And again, I don't know why I'm talking to this. <laughs> Let me just run down some of the specs here because in desktop mode, it is obviously, and it has a magnet. So all I have to do is switch that back to 
desktop and now I'm ready to use it and this works absolutely flawlessly. I think all the new AI and voice stuff is where this is all new and so they're you know ironing out the edges. But so this super easy nice little touchpad here and you can click to actually have things happen but when you get to presentation mode then you know that's when you take this out and it's your presentation tool and you have to orient it correctly. It is a little tricky to get the hang of it, but it is an air mouse and touchpad and laser pointer and gives you that spotlighter and spotlight and indicator light. And you will need the Cheer Dots 2 app. And again, this isn't even a 1.0 release of the app yet. So it is super fun. I'm really intrigued by this. It has a USB-C for charging. The final product will include a USB-C charging cable. And once you have it fully charged, which doesn't take very long in my experience, then it can run up to 21 days on a charge, which means you can charge it and then go away for the weekend and give your presentation at that trade show and then do another presentation to the investors and come you know, back into your hotel room and then use it as a desktop pointer to be super productive and all of that without ever having to worry about charging it again. Very nice. So that's really where things are with this. And I think that once they get this all dialed in, this is going to be an amazing device and really fun because it gives you all of that sort of presentation and desktop mouse features. And there's a whole voice AI system here too that gives you a lot of intriguing additional capabilities. Will you use them every single time? Well, maybe not, but it's super easy to access these things. And if you like record a presentation, it can also automatically generate a summary, which you could then copy and paste into an email and send to people that didn't make it. So that's about as easy as it gets. Now, we should talk about the price because it's currently on Kickstarter and there's two versions of this. There's the version that's just the presentation tool and the desktop mouse and doesn't have the voice and AI features. That's what they call the basic unit and that's less expensive. But I'm going to talk about the Cheer Dots 2 which is the advanced version or pro version and that has a manufacturer's suggested retail price of $129. But right now on Kickstarter, it's running for about another month or so, you can pick it up for $69. Now, you'll have to wait a little while because it's obviously not a production unit and it's not shipping and they're not coming out of the warehouse in you know um, increments of a thousand, but they're gonna get there. And by the time the Kickstarter campaign closes, you'll have probably just a little bit of time to wait and then you'll have this in your hands in black or silver and you will have all sorts of fun trying to figure out how to get it to work for how you make presentations or how you work with your computer and stuff. So really one to check out. I have the link to the Kickstarter campaign in the video description. So please check it out. Again, this is the Cheer Dots 2 Chat GPT powered pointer and presentation tool. That's all I got. I'll hope to catch you in my next video.